I guess can you just tell me about being in the breakaway yesterday in the Queen stage of the USA Def Pro Cycling Challenge? Definitely, yeah. Yesterday was the Queen stage. I did not anticipate on going into the breakaway, but um, I had pretty good legs at the start. Thought it would be a good day to go in the break, you know, maybe get uh, get up the road and then help Alex Hagman, who's uh, kind of riding really well at altitude. He's from Colorado, so that was the plan. And then just to get out in front and have some, uh, you know, the jersey out there. And yeah, we did did all those things. It was great. I was really happy to be able to kind of go up Cottonwood Pass in the front of the breakaway. That was, you know, a dream come true. Just had Danny Pate, who's a good friend of mine, out there with me. And I oh, had a great day, you know, a really good ride. It was a hard day, definitely, to be out there with six guys. A lot of wind, obviously, the altitude and everything combined, you know, it's just a really epic day of racing. So. And um, you've been in the breaks, uh, both the road stages, with Cottonwood Pass. Was that something that you kind of circled in for yourself to try to make the move, or I mean, it, just, it just worked out that way? It, it worked out that way. You can never really say I'm going to be in a break because so many things happen and so many factors, but I definitely, with the dirt and everything like that, and my background in cyclocross, I really wanted to do that, but it wasn't something that I had even, like, I just said I would like to do that, but... <laughs> To actually do it, like I said, was just, you know, it was awesome and it was really special. So, yeah, it was just a great day. So many fans out there to be off the front. It was a really great feeling and I was really happy to be able to do that. Have you reconned the course at all before that? We did, yeah. The, my Daily Blade teammates and I, we came out here. We've been here since the 8th of August. And um, we've been riding all the all these passes and we did a lot of recon. Um, this and the first stage are the only two days that we didn't look at. So. So yeah, so I think we're in pretty good shape for the rest and of the tour. With Cottonwood Pass, with with the dirt gravel roads, or just anything special tire-wise, or just ran your regular setup? Without yeah. some of the guys had 25s on, we didn't. We had regular 23C Kendas. Um, they're pretty they're pretty puncture resistant, and we've had good luck with them all year. So we weren't really concerned when we rode it in the free ride. They had sprayed mag chloride on the road, and it was actually pretty good, except for just a couple sections where there was some gravel. But for the most part, it was in great shape, and I wasn't worried about the tires or anything, so nothing special. Gearing wise what were you running going up that in Independence Pass? We have 28s on all of our bikes, so yeah, so for this whole tour. <laughs> and uh, I guess Chris Jones has kind of got a big edge in the cyclocross classification, So, but did you get special dispensation for beating the break yesterday? I, I don't know. I think that's the people's choice. You know, we have to see what the people think. I know Chris is riding really strong right now, and he's definitely, he's more of a GC guy than I am. He's much more uh, geared towards these climbs and stuff like that, so it's not that's not something really for me. I'm more of like a opportunistic breakaway, get lucky try for a stage win kind of thing and Chris is definitely a slog it out in the mountains with Rory kind of guy so Jeff, different. Do you have any words when he uh, passed you on Independence Pass? No. <laughs> <laughs> there was only thing that I was thinking was please let me get there, please let me get there. I was in a bad place once we got there. I had done a lot of work to just stay with the front, stay with the Colombians. They were just, they were drilling it all the way in the run into it and you know, I was really hard from that for, for me for that part. So and I was behind the break in the media car and the run into Independence Pass. It yeah. looked like for a bit there was kind of a bit of dissension among the break, or was there kind of co oh. cooperation not really there for a bit? I think, I think it was probably dissension, but I think more really what's going on is you know you've got three guys. The forget the rider from Saxo Bank, but uh, Steenson, yeah, Steenson, uh, Danny, and I, and the guy from skill he was cracked he was pretty done and then so me and Danny and the sex bank rider were taking a lot of the pulls mainly because the Colombians are about 140 pounds and there was that big drag between the two you know between the two passes so it was a headwind and they're just not super strong on that section you know they're better on the climb so they were doing what they were good at and we were doing what we were good at and I think there was like you said a little bit of not agree or disagree, but you know what I mean? It's just like, you guys aren't pulling hard enough on the flats and then you guys are killing us on the climb. So yeah, that's probably what you were seeing. Okay, and, and so what? what's some of the cards for you for the rest of the tour, role-wise? You know, I just want to get the, the Jelly Belly and uh, Jelly Belly presented by Ken and Nate out there. You know, that's our goal here is to be active and be aggressive and to really try to get in these breaks and try for a stage win, you know, get a most aggressive rider jersey, something like that to really just show ourselves and just to put a stamp on the races however we can, you know. Okay, thank you very much, Jeremy. Thanks.